hi in this video we are going to see more about exporting tools including parameters like feed speed depth of cut and step over into the tool database and retrieving it back in a tool path strategy for this I'm going to create a new tool here I selected a tip radius tool here where my diameter is 8 and tip radius is 1 as 8 bull R1 you can create a shank here as for my holder I'm getting from my holder database as H1 applying here change my overhang as 50 mm if you go under cutting data tab we can feed several cutting data to various operations you can disable hide empty rows to see rest of the operations here as for this tool I'm going to input the cutting data under general roughing for an 8 mm cutter I'm going to use my axial depth of cut as 0.2 my step over as 6.5 and my RPM as 5000 and my feed as 2200 mm per minute I'm going to export this tool by enabled tool geometry holder geometry and cutting data as same if you go under this tool database page you can find 8 bull r1 here now I'm going to show you how to retrieve those parameters into a tool path strategy before that you have to enable under the tool function auto load feed rate and auto load depth of cut as ticked also you go under my tool database manager under general tab you just tick load shank with tool now I'm going to select a tool path strategy as more my model area clearance if you see my step over here as 6.5 and my depth of cut as 0 0.2 for a 8 mm cutter if you change this cutter here from the tool database selected here 12 bull R1 you can see your parameter also get changed if you go under the feed and speed tab also those parameter which we fed into the tool library also retrieved into this feed speed page by using this function we can create the programs in a faster way 